the surprising method to respond to a narcissist attack and emerge victorious. Did you know that some individuals struggle with apologies? These individuals are referred to as narcissists, and they have difficulty admitting when they have done something wrong. When we make an error or harm others, apologizing is crucial. However, for a narcissist, acknowledging fault or taking responsibility for their actions is extremely challenging. They may wait until the other person has moved on or may not apologize at all. Apologizing is important as it demonstrates that we comprehend the consequences of our actions and that we are concerned about others' feelings. Refusing to apologize can cause significant harm and strain on our relationships. Therefore, if you ever find yourself in a situation where an apology is necessary, remember that apologizing is acceptable. It does not make you weak or insignificant. On the contrary, it showcases your strength in admitting your mistakes and that you value the people in your life. If you come across someone who has trouble saying sorry, be patient and understanding. Everyone has their own struggles, and it's important to treat others with kindness and respect. Narcissists can convince others to share their self-centered perspective through their words and actions. They do this because they are insecure and want to make others feel inadequate. Complaining about others often reveals one's own flaws. Everything a narcissist does, says, or thinks reflects their inner emotions. But if they can find someone to share their misery, they'll at least have company. They want to make others feel bad so they can feel better. Remember that a negative mood spreads faster when there are two people involved, rather than just one. The desire for victory and happiness fuels the heart when feeling sad. Because they are unable to relate to others on an emotional level, those who are emotionally numb tend to blame those around them for their own emotional problems. Narcissists, who lack concern for others and actively avoid feeling remorse, will never sincerely apologize to you. It is a futile effort to try to outmanipulate a narcissist. Therefore, in this video, I will demonstrate how to end a toxic relationship with a narcissistic person in a healthy and effective manner. Allow me to express my appreciation for your attention to this video. If you found it helpful, please share it with your loved ones. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to stay updated on future content. Thank you for your support and kind words. As a first step, avoid trying to convince or pressure the narcissist into making changes. Focus on becoming a better person and expanding your social network. If you haven't sought treatment for codependency or are just starting to recover, it's risky to become overly reliant on others. It's draining to spend mental energy worrying about things like other people's opinions, the future, and events. If the narcissist truly wanted to change their behavior, they would have done so by now. Take control of your life and make the conscious decision to improve yourself in some way. The narcissist's background is irrelevant. Your life is in your hands, so stop procrastinating and start taking action. The sooner you stop stressing about the narcissist and start focusing on self-improvement, the better your life will be. To get rid of a narcissist, you need to be at your best and live your best life. The second strategy is to implement an interim cessation of hostilities. When dealing with a narcissist, your best course of action is to completely cut off all contact with them. Further interaction is simply not an option. This is because engaging with these individuals leads to a lack of progress and fruitless arguments. It is best to let them have the last word as they view it as a sign of victory. By distancing yourself from the situation, you can prevent any further damage to your well-being and energy. This decision will benefit you both in the present and in the future. It is advisable not to seek guidance from a narcissist or their toxic acquaintances. Three, attempting to explain your feelings to a narcissist is futile. Brace yourself for the truth. Narcissists do not care about you, so it is time to move on. They are so self-absorbed that they have no regard for your feelings or needs. Although it is a harsh reality, it is a fact. Focus on taking care of yourself and prioritize your own well-being. When dealing with a narcissist, don't expect to get what you want. To be happy, you must take care of yourself rather than relying on others. By doing so, you will regain your sense of self 
and realize that you didn't need the narcissist after all. If you want to establish healthy, kind, and mutual relationships, start by breaking free from the codependent relationship. The first step in recovery is realizing that you are free to move on and create new, positive relationships. You deserve this after all the hard work you have done. 4. Defend yourself mentally and physically. To avoid falling prey to a narcissist's manipulation, it's crucial to have emotional maturity and spiritual discipline. You have the power to prevent someone from pushing your buttons just for their amusement. To win an argument with a narcissist while maintaining your composure, taking care of yourself is key. To be effective, these practices must be integrated into your daily life and turned into good habits. For those who aren't accustomed to prioritizing their own appearance, a narcissist's confidence and fashion sense can be intimidating. Given the extent to which we're often blamed in this area, it's understandable that we struggle. When you wake up in the morning, you have the freedom to make your own choices. Your safety and well-being should always come first before considering others. The responsibility for this step lies solely on you. Please let us know in the comments if you plan to make any changes. 5. Don't feel sorry for the narcissist. Those with a favorable impression of narcissists are more susceptible to believing their lies and manipulation. The lack of empathy only exacerbates the situation, leading to feelings of exploitation, powerlessness, and defeat. Empaths may be affected by the negative emotions and energy of others, even if they do not personally share similar feelings or vibrational frequencies. As a humanitarian, don't suffer through the aftermath. Keep your distance and reserve your empathy for those who truly need it. The narcissist will not appreciate it anyway. 6. Connect with trustworthy people in your life. You'll need the support of friends and family as you recover from a relationship with a narcissist. After being abused, you'll need time to heal. If you don't already have it, it's important to find it. Seek out trustworthy individuals to talk to about your issues, whether they're experts on the topic or reliable friends, family members, or relatives. However, it's important not to use them as emotional dumping grounds. Having a support system in place means you'll have someone to turn to when you need to be heard and valued. From personal experience, I can say that recovering from narcissistic abuse requires a strong social network. We could all unwind a little more if we had someone to talk to. This being the case, it is crucial that you surround yourself with people who can provide emotional support. As a result, you'll be less likely to pursue these urges with people who aren't trustworthy or who could harm you if they found out. If you want to be well and happy, it's on you to take care of yourself in ways that will actually help you. Building and keeping a strong foundation of support throughout time is crucial if we are to succeed in our mission. This concludes my topic for today. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I hope you gained some useful information. If you have ever dated a narcissist, please share your experience with us. If you liked this video and would like to see more like it in the future, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button at the bottom of the video. Thank you very much. So, have you encountered a person who refuses to apologize and continually places blame on others? They may be a narcissist. Due to their difficulty in acknowledging when they are wrong, having a friendship or a romantic relationship with a narcissist can be challenging. However, don't worry, we offer advice to assist you in dealing with a narcissist and coming out of the interaction victorious. Firstly, work on improving yourself rather than attempting to change the narcissist. Even if you beg them to change their behavior, they are unlikely to do so. Instead, focus on your energy, on self-empowerment, and taking control of your life. Secondly, it's best to cut off all communication with the narcissist. Interacting with them will only result in additional tension and conflict in your life. Third, don't bother expressing your emotions to a narcissist. They are too focused on themselves to care about your thoughts or needs. Instead, focus on taking care of yourself and getting out of a good abandoned relationship. And lastly, be prepared to defend yourself both mentally and physically. To protect yourself from their manipulation, cultivate emotional maturity and spiritual discipline. By following the advice in this video, 
you can end a destructive relationship with a narcissist in a healthy and productive manner. Remember, you deserve to have positive and wholesome connections in your life. I hope you found this video to be informative. If you have a comment or a question, please post them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching this video.